hello welcome to my kitchen yeah this is mama's yeah today i'm going to prepare lovely food very simple i always say simple but you know yeah if you put your mind to it you can make it it's not hard at all so these are my ingredients here yeah? i always say without ingredients nothing will happen so these are the all the ingredients here yeah? as you can see i have a mushroom here mixed peppers carrots and ginger garlic onion this is fresh tomato there and also canned tomato one canned tomato this is 400 grams and i have a light brown sugar there and also cornstarch which is corn flour and i have one scotch on it okay so these are all the ingredients the rest will follow as i'm going to prepare all this one i'm going to prep this yeah and then you know the rest of the ingredients will come later as we are cooking okay so this is it now time has come for me to start the sauce yeah i'm making my sauce first before uh prepare the vegetable as well okay so i'm adding this is tomato i blend with my ginger okay This is one thin tomato and fresh tomato plus ginger blend. Okay, so I'm gonna squeeze some uh, tomato paste as well. This one is all in one, just add everything. And then I'll say one full tablespoon of uh, tomato paste. Okay, just add and mix. So now I'm adding the this is light brown sugar. Okay. Yeah, about 80 grams, okay? Depends how you want your sweet, if you can add more, but 80 grams. The first one is uh, apple cider vinegar, okay? Half, yeah, this is half a cup, okay? Let's add that. I'm making too much jar for ketchup here. Okay. So, now that it is, we need the salt for taste salt as you can see okay one teaspoon of salt salt please to your taste okay yeah. we just mix the water i'm going to add also for it to boil okay about one uh, cup cup of water cold water warm water it's fine so now i'm going to let it cook until everything will come you know cook and then add my other uh, things that I need to add okay just making the separate sauce on the side and the later on I have this something like this on my channel you go to my channel you must not try the is there but this one is a bit different okay so, this is the fish I'm going to use here yeah? so I'm going to slice and then season it this is called cod fillets here yeah? and this one is haddock haddock and cod fillets here yeah? so it is Cut them and then season. Okay. Use my, this is easy to use your scissors to do. You can also use knife. It doesn't matter. Okay. And then this one is cold. So I'm going to start until that is finished, then it's all done and then season it, okay? I've mixed my season here with salt and everything, yeah? So, just put everything around and then mix and season, okay? Season everything like that. Okay, so, uh -huh. Season is done, so just put everything back in the plate cover and then leave it in my fridge to marinate for you know as I'm cooking. This is fish, so you won't take that long, okay? For me, when it's ready, okay, so I'm washing my hands then. I come back in. Clean film, put it in the fridge to marinate, okay? So, yeah, see, okay, and Always keep your fridge, your either fish or whatever meat in the fridge, yeah? Don't leave it outside. 
unless you cook it straight away. I'm starting my sauce now. Yeah, this is carrot. Yeah, so now I'm adding the onion and garlic here. Yeah? Garlic and onion. Okay. Okay. I'm going to blend my ginger to the tomato. If I remove the carrot, now I'm putting it back again. I'm not adding my mushrooms here, slice mushrooms. Okay. I'm now going to mix my corn flour here yeah, in this pot. This is full tablespoon. Yeah, and add in my tea. I'm going to add this one and see if we need more. I'll add this in half a teaspoon. Okay. So I'm done making it, okay? Taking the sauce, make it nice and saucy. So add this there. Maybe I'll need a bit more, so I'm going to add a bit more. So I'm adding this one, yeah? Going to add a bit more. Because I want the sauce to be thick. Okay? Flour here, yeah? let's say about half a tablespoon. Okay, so because the juice is too much, so I want to take it up here. And otherwise, when I add the sauce, it's going to be very dry. Okay, you don't want the water sauce, you want sauce and um, um, just to see how you really need to just add. Okay. You know, it's nice and saucy. So we add the other sauce to be perfect. So now it's time for me to add my the fish. Okay? Fish doesn't take a long to cook. So when you add the fish, then you know that. Yes, yeah, so now I'm going to add my fish here. Yeah? This is the fish here. So I'm going to add it. I'm going to add the fish now to make it so that the fish does not take a long to cook. I don't know if this one is a good one. This is pork and pork. Now that I'm fishing, it's in. This is a sauce that I prepare. Yeah? Sweet and sour sauce. Just add some. Okay? Where we are, we can do this. But you must have to do my master. I said, what's in your jaw? 
from the cooler, you can just bring it in the bottom and let it stay through or you can freeze it. Okay? This is the way to have it. I'll put it in some space. You know that it's like that. You need to stay it. You know that tomato is cooked so you can put it in the fish. It's not going to stay away from it. Okay? Alright, so I'm going to add my onion and then cover it for a couple of minutes. You have slice of water, but I love the juice of the water in my pasta sauce. I'm going to prepare this. This is my onion, okay? So I've been, this is white and red meat. I'm going to add my onion and then shake it. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so I'm cooking rice here yeah, to go with the sauce. Okay, so I'm just the rice in the rice cooker. Yeah, so now this is how it looks like. As you can see, yeah, beautiful sauce, fish sauce. We we'll see how the fish is so nice and flaky. Oh, wow, this sauce is so nice. Test me, I'm telling you. It's wonderful. Okay. So now it's done. Yeah? So I'm cooking my rice when the rice is ready. Then, so I'm turning the whole thing off and then add my tomato. Yeah? Tomato in my tomato in the oven. So I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Have the area if I'm not doing it so that I know any overcook. So, so I'm going to need them. So, and nice. So, so I'm going to cook my rice. Yeah. Nice. You see? So this is it. Mm. So maybe near the prayer follow step by step. Also bit my It was similar when we channel from the chicken it was a bit different compared to this one. So the one but I need to know it's a similar one is I don't say the name here. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, oh more too. Yeah, the beer once a while, just see. Huh? Yeah, Ghana, then you used to be afraid. Tell me, okay? I'm only here ready. I'm a seven months a date. All right, that's it. Yeah. So this is the sauce, yeah. See, yummy, yummy sauce. And see, lovely. This one in the rice, please. Yeah, delicious. So now, so, I'm going to make this a moolie. Now, for the, I'm sure I'll find moolie. So, lovely rice also, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is the rice, you see? So I'm going to put the sauce on the side, okay? So it's so ready yet. Mmm. Nyago. Nice. No, I need to make a fish crown too soon. See the fish now, you flaky. Look at that. Flaky fish here. Mmm. Yum, yum. Yeah. Found some scatter and come because. So, so now we did a frame on and just a cookie. So, this is all. You see, very nice. It's way no do a tree and a fork a show. No, I enjoy it. Very nice and tasty. So, we have process in your city. And you're the head in about what you see for me to my especially the young ones. That's a full on a step by step. It's my no any internet mama channel. I'm not sure if I'm not all my viewers, subscribers, but I'm going to now say thank you to everyone. Continue to watch my channel and subscribe, okay? We have more ideas to share with you guys. So this is it, food of the day, okay? Thank you for watching. I will be here soon to say, watch my channel. I will be here soon to say, watch my channel. I will be here soon to say, uh -huh. Malicious, yes. Maland. So this is the remaining uh, the sauce that I prepared, yeah? 
salsa made here, yeah? tomato sauce, yeah, or you can call it tomato jam, yeah. So this is how. Now I wrap it. So I'm going to freeze it. You can store it anywhere that you want to store it, whether in your fridge, you put it in a jar or plastic like this, and then you know store it. Okay. So this is it. We use it another time. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. This vegetable, I'm sure that most of us know what this is. Yeah, this is called broccoli. Yeah, the stew that I prepared last time. I'm going to use broccoli to make another. Yeah, it's the same process and everything, but I'm using different veg. That's all. So, the veg I'm going to use is broccoli. That's what I'm showing you here. So, the rest will come because this sauce is very nice and healthy, and you know, it's good, it tastes good as well. Plus, Health, you know, broccoli is full of vitamin C, it's very good. So, I'm going to cut this one or prep it and then use it for the sauce I'm making. Okay, it's just like the other one I make, but this is broccoli. All right, yeah, about the sauce I'm making, yeah, I'm not using rice to go for this sauce, I'm using potato. Okay, so I'm now here peeling the potato and then cook it so that I can have something to with it okay so now potato is all nice and pure yeah so i'm gonna clear this this is the remaining and wash and start cooking it okay so i'm pouring water yeah this is boring water this is how i do my things it's better and salt yeah boy water maybe i could go be chair me say Oh yeah, Jan, you know you should share now. Okay, so now we have no more yeah after now. Go see boy. So, you go now. Then I'm going to pour my gravy in here and then stir and cook it. Yeah, this is hot bonnet, corn flour, and salt, brown sugar. Everything I mix to be that plus vinegar. Just like the way the one I did last time, but I did not add too much. That way is the only thing. It's not here, yeah. So I'm gonna pour it. You can make your gravy this way. So I'm going to stir until that you know, cook or it comes out. Alright. Okay. So now this is how it looks like. I'm adding a bit of uh, lemon juice, yeah. If I use vinegar, I add vinegar already. I'm adding a little bit of. I want this also because I like the sharpness of that. I want it more sharp. The will get the sweet and sour that taste, you know. See, so I'm going to add two water here. This boiling water, okay? To loosen it up a bit. Okay. Sweet, you need to see if you want more, just add more sugar if you want, yeah? This is full two tablespoons of sugar. I add a pinch of salt. I add my spagonet to depend how I want to eat. And then, you know, the corn flour, the same size I used last time, just add more water to mix it. Blend everything in my blender and pour. And now, this is how it is, okay? Uh -huh. So, for now, you just follow the, uh, I'll follow the, the one for the tomato. So they make your sauce without tomato or good tomato. Alright, so now we're going to put this set aside and it continue. Okay? Yeah, so this is ginger, garlic, onion. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Amazing. It's not 
So I'm going to serve it for you to see how I'm serving my potato. To me, say when I'm going to be on the other side. So any potato, hey, nice. Try it. Let's see. Very good. Yeah. So this is the dish of the day. Yeah, potato with uh, vegetable and fish. Yeah, plus sauce gravy on it. So this is one is very healthy. You can try. I'm gonna make the video together because I have one already, and I'm just making this one to combine the whole thing. So you see and then make the one that you fancy. It's all nice, all lovely, and it's really good. Okay, so this is it. This is Mama delicious, beautiful setting with a potato. Lovely isn't it so good so try and then you know share with friends and family all right thank you for watching it was a okay that was a part you know